What's happening guys, today we're going to learn how to create a sliding panorama for your Instagram photos using Photoshop. So let's get into it. What's happening guys, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com, home to editing tutorials, camera gear reviews, tricks, and tips. Now if you are new here, on this channel we talk all about photo editing, photography, video, and of course a ton of Photoshop. So if that's something that you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. So the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll have to make sure that you have a landscape oriented image. A vertical image does not work just because we need to crop this into two separate squares so then we can upload two separate images on Instagram that flawlessly stitch together. Because a vertical image is obviously vertical, we can't cut it up into those nice squares for Instagram. So that means that we have to have a landscape oriented image. Now your photo doesn't have to be a panorama. This image in this case I actually shot while on my last Alberta trip and it is just a single photo. It is not a panorama of any kind but we can make it look like a panorama in terms of Instagram. So anyways, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to press C for our crop tool and we're going to go up here to our top left corner and we're going to change this to ratio. So once you've changed this to ratio we're going to change this to a two by one. So we'll put two in the first box, one in the second box, so we have a two by one image. And now you'll notice that we have this little bit of a crop here. So at this point, you wanna take a moment just to readjust your photo because this is what our panorama is gonna be made from. We have to crop the outsides just so it fits to Instagram a little better. So for this photo, I'm just going to leave it pretty much right where it was. And then I'm gonna go up here and click delete cropped pixels. So that just means that anything that is not inside of our crop is going to get deleted. So with that, I'm gonna click my checkbox to commit to that. So now we have our cropped image and this is what we're gonna split into two separate photos that we can then upload to Instagram. To make our lives easy, we're going to go up here to view and down here to new guide layout. Once we click new guide layout, you're gonna to wanna to check off your columns box here and then in the number of columns, you're gonna just wanna have two. As for rows, you can just leave that unchecked because we don't need any of that stuff. So once you've done that, you should have these little guides on your image here and we can go ahead and click okay. So now what these guides are going to do is they basically tell us the two separate photos that we're going to crop and then we'll export them as individual photos. Going back with our crop tool, we'll just grab C for our crop tool. And we're now going to stick in our ratio tab, but now we're gonna change this two to a one. So we'll just press one. And then we're going to also uncheck delete crop pixels. Now I'm just going to readjust my crop so then it fits over into one of my squares here between my two dividers. Once you've done that, we're gonna go up and click the checkbox to commit to that. And this is going to be the first piece of our panorama. So now we want to export this photo. So to export our photo, we can go up here to File, Save As. Then we can change our file name to whatever we want. So I'm going to call this IG Pano Tutorial. And then we're gonna go down to Format and we want to change this to JPEG. So once you've renamed your file, set a destination and making sure that the format is set to JPEG, we're gonna click Save. Make sure your quality is up at 12. I leave my mat at none and my format options at baseline. And then you can click OK. So now that photo has exported out and now we want to create the next piece of our panorama. So with our crop tool, again, we're gonna leave our ratio the exact same, our one by one square. We're just gonna click on our image to bring back up our box. And then we're gonna click and drag over towards the other side of our guide. So now we're in the other piece of our photo. We're gonna to commit to that and you guessed it, we're going to export this photo just like we did with the other one. Again, going up to File down here to Save As, and then we're going to rename this to IG Pano Tut 2, and then save it to my desktop, and we'll change the format to JPEG, and then we'll go ahead and click Save. Keeping all my settings the exact same here, and I'm gonna click OK. So now our two photos have exported and they should be saved in wherever you have set the destination to. Now at this point, we're gonna to want to get both of our images onto our phones and then that way we can begin to upload them to Instagram. So once you go into Instagram, we're going to upload a photo just as normal and then we're going to select the multiple photos options or upload multiple photos options. 
Once you've selected that, we're going to select our left image first, and then as our second image in our carousel, we're going to click number two. You can add any filters or adjustments as you please. Type in whatever you want, click share, then go to your profile and check out the awesome panorama that you now have on your profile. So with that, you now have the tools and knowledge to bless your Instagram feed with all of these awesome sliding panoramas. I love this effect. I really love when other people do it. So I would love to see more of this stuff on Instagram. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like this one. Likewise, if you upload your photos and create an awesome sliding panoramic on your own Instagram profiles, I would love to see how they turned out. So make sure to tag me when you upload to Instagram at burnwills. Anyways guys, that is all I have for you for today. Again, my name is Brendan from bewillcreative.com and I hope to catch you back here next time.